like the shadow. Well, no, that's actually that sucks, but not for everybody. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Well, now you can. Now you can just see my hand doing it. That's stupid. I was. <laughs> we have an interesting and an exciting endeavor for you today, and I want to thank you very much for joining us for this. We're doing something that I've never done before. Really? There's something you've never done before? Okay, I've done it, but it was like a super long time ago. Okay. In fact, I've never been to... I've never fished this place. <laughs> <laughs> she just hit her head on the pillar. So hard. <laughs> so hard. The company that my dad works for has this conference facility place thing that they use for stuff. It's private, but apparently they have a really sick fishing pier, and there are a bunch of trout out right now. So we are going to go sneak into this place for a little night fishing off of their big rad pier. Sounds like fun fishing with that. Excited? And for anybody that's curious, this is in Bayside, Texas, which is not a place that I have been fishing ever. I've never fished in Bayside. No, and it's really pretty. We used to come through here all the time on our way to Victoria. It's really actually pretty. Yeah, you can see all these yeah, cool houses like, on totally the water. I'm built. So we are on our way to fish the private pier. And we're following my dad over there right now. This place is in the middle of nowhere. Man, but isn't it pretty? It's a pretty day. It is a pretty day rain this morning. <laughs> They're out having a good time. Okay, you look kind of fuzzy. There's like a halo over oh, here. There's a smudge on the lens. It is a little bit more crowded out here than what we were expecting. <laughs> so we're rushing down there now to get some prime real estate on the pier. So we have not even had a chance to put a camera on this because we're catching them just right out of the gate. We're slaying them. Here's my dad with a personal best gaff top. Hold that thing out towards the camera. So <laughs> I think this has got to be the smallest gaff top I've ever seen in my whole life. We're keeping them for the fish bowl. <laughs> experimenting with a couple of different kinds of baits and stuff. We got Rachel bouncing a little uh, neon jig off the bottom, a half ounce jig. Seeing if we got any flounder in here. My dad's putting out a couple of baits. Uh, cup mullet also sitting on the bottom. Muddy water. Muddy water, they can't see it as well. So we're gonna see if we can get them up with the scent of the uh, cut bait. And we're probably gonna try it with some live ones as well. He's got that one on the bottom and another one sitting on the surface. Well, we'll see what works. It's just about experimentation right now. Yeah, I'm top of the skip jack. And that was on the trim. I'll have a low supply of trim. I don't think more than that. Yeah, sorry we missed that. He caught those before I could even get the camera going. Well, we got the gaff top. <laughs> skip jack was way bigger, but right now, since it's on video, the only thing he gets credit for is the gaff top. Yeah, who caught him? Hey, so you're the one that up your game. I do. Fighting with me, all I want to do is release him. <laughs> you are going to be the coolest little mullet out there. You're going to have your lip pierced. Yeah, you have your own lip piercing. Commanding the experience of two sales. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it does. Catch the biggest fish. are attracting in these needlefish and they are having a ball chasing my lure. Casting them, they're starting to come up to the surface a little. Yeah, they're there. Beautiful speckler. Nice catch, Dad. Next time, do it on camera. We are going to get rigged up with a couple of mullet because these little shrimp aren't working. We're just getting picked apart by little dinks. So let's see if we can't get a couple of them good sized specklers. So obviously I need to be changing my tactics. I'm going to head down that way. I started popping here a moment ago. That sound good, Rach? You have to catch a fish in the next 20 minutes. Okay, okay. Oh, well, one will be fine. Just catch one. 
Get that fish. <laughs> Heck yeah. Sitting here messing around with that guy. Rachel got the best sand dry out of the night. Yeah, I know that's how I set it up to do that. <laughs> yeah, make it more fun. Not a bad haul considering it has been a very long time since I've been out uh, night fishing and on a pier. It's actually been a while since I've been after uh, trouts and reds. So awesome time. Uh, we are back here at the house now and I'm going to go ahead and fillet these up, get them ready. I think we are going to do them for lunch tomorrow at my parents. It's midnight now so it's a little bit late. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get them filleted up and we will get them ready for tomorrow. It's kind of late. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Awesome fishing trip at that. But anyway, let's get to uh, filleting these guys. There you go. Got ourselves a nice little plate of meat. Now, I did a couple of things different on filleting these guys. Uh, Rachel and I decided we wanted to try to do a couple of the bigger trout the way you would do brook trout or something like you get up north. As you can see in the uh, clip right there, went ahead and scaled them. We <laughs> It is, it's bedtime, I know, I'm just about done. So yeah, uh, instead of filleting them and skinning them and everything, I went ahead and just scaled them and took out the intestines and all of that stuff we're going to cook them up some way special i don't know and then of course we did the redfish on the half shell i just enjoy redfish on the half shell it's a good way of doing it you don't need to skin them anyway i am tired we're going to go ahead and go to bed thank you very much for watching guys really appreciate you and we will see you in the next video